Hello, I'm Elena Grunyuk and today we are recording our next episode of SME Banking Conversations in Krakow in Komar Innovation Space. Komar is one of the biggest providers of digital factoring solutions here in C region and Poland is the biggest market by the factoring volumes and innovations. And this will be the topic of today's conversation. I'm talking today with Karol Lischinski, Product Development Manager at Comark Factoring Platform. Hello, Karol. Hello, good morning. I'm very excited to discuss with you the digitalization of factoring, especially for SMEs. And thank you for having me here in your innovation space. Nice to see you again. So, as we are here in Comark Innovation Space, could you tell us more about the space itself? and the innovations you present here. Yes, this is the place when uh, you can learn about the wide range of uh, products that uh, Comar is offering. Mm -hmm. uh, what is important to mention is that every visiting person, our headquarters in Comar, is able to book a free tour here and see this space uh, alone. Mm -hmm. So we are presenting to the uh, products from different sectors, for example, from uh, financial sectors like factoring, Comar Open Platform, mobile, uh, and uh, many, many more. Of course, we are uh, we have also the different sectors here like uh, e-healthcare, telecommunication, mm -hmm. public administration. So this is the place when you can see a wide range of our products. How big team is involved in the development and support of digital fa uh, factoring solutions uh, at Comar? I think right now it's about 50 people mm -hmm. and what makes me really happy, we are still growing. Uh, I think it's also worth to mention that we are working in agile methodology mm -hmm. and uh, we are working in sprints, of course, uh, usually two week sprints. So that means that our clients are able to see every improvement in usually less than uh, two weeks, uh, sometimes four or five days. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very important right now. Mm -hmm. How many people usually are involved in the project from your customer side like when you are implementing with the bank or with the factoring company? Which capacity is needed? I think it strictly depends on the implementation of the range of imp implementation because I think usually there are many people involved, different people involved in, uh, in the implementation. For example, project manager, scrum mm -hmm. master, uh, testers, analytics, and of course developers, and usually myself. Mm -hmm. So I think as we are speaking about the implementation, it's about 50 maybe even 30 people. It, mm -hmm. I, as I mentioned at the beginning, it depends how big is the implementation. It will be a different for the large factor or la large bank and a little bit uh, smaller team is needed for the fintechs, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is your path to Comar factoring platform? <laughs> this is a good question. <laughs> and I think uh, if you want to see about my origins, we need to take a step a few years back. Mm. My professional career started at Raiffeisen Bank Poland at the mm -hmm. time. Okay. Um, I think it was in 2010 and um, I started as a relationship manager. Uh, my daily task was to uh, take care of the portfolio of over 100 clients. Mm -hmm. And uh, my job was also to um, gain a new clients, cross sell banking products like of course, factoring, over the loft loans, um, investment loans, um, mm -hmm. guarantees, letter of collections, and uh, many, many more. And at um, 2015, I decided to focus on one product, mm -hmm. which is, of course, factoring. Uh, and I think in 2017, I became a head of sales of the southeastern region in Poland. Mm -hmm. In and Raiffeisen, right? In Raiffeisen at the okay. time, because uh, later the, there was a merge with BNP yeah. Paribas. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, when I became the head of sales, this was the time when I truly interested in project management project uh, and product management. Mm -hmm. mm, and in 
at the end of 2019, I joined the Comarch. Mm -hmm. And of course, I joined the Comarch factoring platform for uh, team. Mm -hmm. And I'm still here. <laughs> How does your working day look like now? I think my typical day is fulfilled with uh, meetings with the clients, mm -hmm. with the team. Um, and my, also my main task is to analyze the market. Because at the end of the day, we need to know, we need to be sure that our solution and our proposition for the, for the solution meets the standard of the end user. So we need to know that we are able to fulfill their needs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about markets and trends uh, on the market, on the factory market. Uh, based on our study that we do every year, and, and you know that, uh, here in the sea region we have uh, 80, maybe a bit more, banks and factoring companies delivering factoring mm -hmm. services to business customers. And from them we have 17 companies that implemented at least online application for the factoring uh, for business or SMEs, so SME customers, because these solutions are really many focus for micros and small businesses. And uh, uh, 12 of them have fully digital factoring mm -hmm. process. So my first question to you here, how do you evaluate uh, the Polish uh, market of digital factoring? Because right from, from this digitalized solution we have here in Poland, the biggest number of them. So how do you evaluate it? And do you consider fintechs as your competitors? I think the situation from previous years uh, showed that digitalization is uh, necessary. And mm -hmm. I think many banks weren't prepared for the stay at home regulations. So I think um, they still need to catch up fintechs because I think they are um, showing the trends and mm -hmm. they showing the path in some, in some ways. And if I'm, when I'm thinking about the fintechs, I'm not sure we can call them competitor, competitors for the traditional uh, factors or mm -hmm. traditional banks. Because in my opinion, uh, first of all, they are doing great job in case of education of smaller clients, of micro clients especially. Yeah. Because um, a few years back, uh, traditional banks and factors didn't want to cover these segments, especially in factoring, for mm -hmm. example. And uh, yes. I think they are showing how the online process can be done because the best on the market right now are able to grant the limit in less than eight seconds. And mm -hmm. uh, of course, the fully online process, I think this is amazing. Mm -hmm. And when we are comparing this to the um, traditional uh, factors, I think the process right now, it's better right now, it's faster right now. It takes about five days. Mm -hmm. So. I think it's also also good result right now. We need to remember that fintechs uh, are granting significantly slower amounts of limit because we are not speaking about the limit of 1 million on, or 2 million euro. We are above much or less maybe 50,000, maybe 100,000 euro. So the, the difference is big. Mm -hmm. But um, when I'm thinking about SMEs, I think fintechs right now are starting to also touching or covering this segment. Mm -hmm. And if they are able to build a mm, big amount of clients, they will be able to compete with, be more competitive uh, with banks about the price. Because mm -hmm. I think right now, uh, especially the price is the issue because fintechs are yeah. much more expensive. The price is high. Exactly. The price is a little bit higher, yes, mm -hmm. right now. But I think it's changing. Mm -hmm. I think it's changing. Mm -hmm. And they are providing, as we mentioned earlier, fully online process. Mm -hmm. This is very important right now. Yes. Because the younger generation, in my opinion, they don't want to go to the banks. Yes, I don't like to go to a bank branch either. So, yes. And actually, uh, SMEs for the recent years, I mean, the knowledge of what factoring means as a, as a, as a, as a terminology uh, increased during the last two years actually among micro and, and, and small businesses. I mm -hmm. think uh, factoring is much safer product than a uh, simple overdraft loan on mm -hmm. investment loan yeah. because the risk diversification is based on few debtors. Yeah. And I think this is very important and that's why fintechs 
show the uh, so the opportunity mm -hmm. to start the factoring business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which challenges do you see banks and factoring companies uh, are facing right now, and uh, and how to overcome them? I think the biggest challenge is when we are implementing the system for a new client. I think mm -hmm. it's need to be done in the way that doesn't affect the end user. So mm -hmm. in this case, we are talking about the clients of the factor mm -hmm. and yeah. the employees of the factor. Mm -hmm. And that's why we strongly recommend to divide this implementation into two phases. Mm -hmm. And the first phase is when we gave the go live system uh, when, of course, Factor can earn money, we are preparing, of course, the branding, the logo, and the, all the necessary legal regulations. Mm -hmm. And the second uh, phase is when the system is already on, online, go mm -hmm. live, and we are adjusting for the other customer requests. Mm -hmm. I know you have a cloud-based software, right, for, for, for the factoring companies and banks which includes, among others, this matching of uh, receivables and, and payments, uh, mm -hmm. automatic upload of the invoice. So could you tell us more about all the functions available? I think with today's mindset and uh, rapid development of mobile applications, we need to be prepared for I like to call it one-stop shop, where everything mm -hmm. is in one place. Uh, right now, the end customers expect fully automation. It's from, they need to have everything in one place. For example, they want to have integrated ERP systems. Mm -hmm. They want to, for example, send automatically send the reports for external accounting. So mm -hmm. this is the direction that uh, we need to face. And I think factoring systems should be able to, for example, get every invoices from the ERP system and only tasks that end customers need to do is to select these invoices and put them into the purchase. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the direction right now. Yes, yes, and click and pay with one click, right? Yes, of course, <laughs> yes, of course. What banks and factoring companies should do? What are the main steps, uh, on your opinion, for the automation of factoring services? I think, first of all, they need to start to listen to the end customers mm -hmm. because I think it's very important. That's why I'm a big fan of uh, usability test. Mm -hmm. This is how we started to implement our uh, uh, software. So we are, mm, for example, inviting few clients through clients from, of course from the factors that we are cooperating with and uh, we are writing our scenarios and we are asking them to find this uh, scenario in the system for example to attach some file for the invoices at the Sera. and i think this is uh, only right direction right now because this is why we can understand what they really need, because they are dealing with the system on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Every day they need to log in, log out, and see what's happening on the system. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is uh, why we started doing this. And of course, when we are talking about the back office, uh, yeah. the same, the same mm, thing we are doing with factor employees. Mm -hmm. What are you working at Comar right now, and what are plans for the nearest year? Recently, we finished uh, developing the new version of our front office uh, system, the mm -hmm. 4.0 version, mm -hmm. which is based on the newest UX uh, technologies. And I think it's important to mention that because everyone are, is telling about how good factoring system is, what the factoring sh system should have. But mm -hmm. I have one thing that good factoring system shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, it shouldn't have user manual because if the totally agree yeah because if the <laughs> end user is not able to navigate through the system intuitively mm -hmm. i think the system is poorly prepared mm -hmm. and right now we are focusing on the as i'm calling the back office on the heart of the factoring mm -hmm. system for the factor employees and factor workers because um, right now we want to simplify their work 
as much as we can uh -huh. because I really like the quote if you don't talk to your clients your competition is if you are not able to provide some solutions for your clients your competition will provide mm -hmm. it so we want to be sure that factor employees don't waste their time on the unnecessary things to do in the system mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. totally agree with you carol good luck with it and and thank you thank for you this very conversation. much thank, thank you very you. much thank you